This is a item replacing the glass touch screen and the LCD on an Apple iPhone 6 Plus. To begin, shut down the phone by holding the power button on the side and confirming the shutdown on screen. Remove two pantalope screws on each side of the docking connector. Using a plastic pick, begin separating the front assembly from the main body at the bottom edge. Open the front assembly from the bottom edge and begin removing five Phillips screws securing the connector plate. Please note that all the screws are unique to their positions. It is best to set the screws aside in the same pattern as they were situated on the connector plate. Remove the connector plate. Begin separating the four small connectors using a pick or a flat screwdriver. For the two larger connectors in the back, use a rocking motion of the flat screwdriver to loosen the connector from each corner to open the connector without damaging it. Set the phone body aside. It is likely that the replacement part does not have the home button or the camera on it. Those will have to be transferred from the original. Remove two Phillips screws holding the metal shield over the home button. Remove the shield. Remove a Phillips screw at the bottom of the large LCD shield. Remove a Phillips screw at the top of the LCD shield. Proceed to remove the six tiny Phillips screws, securing the LCD shield, three on each side. Pick open the home button connector to the left of the home button. Using a flat screwdriver, gently pry off the glued flex cable off the home button connector. Pick off the two rubber screw dampeners near the home button. Using a plastic pick, apply pressure to the home button to unglue it from the assembly. Peel off the home button and set it aside. Using tweezers, gently pry off the glued base of the home button connector. Remove the shield. Remove three Phillips screws from the front camera bracket at the top of the assembly. Remove the securing bracket. Carefully reposition the camera and its flex cable to remove the speaker box. The front camera is on the same flex cable as all of the ambient light sensors. It is glued on in several spots. Using tweezers, gently separate the sensors from the assembly while holding the flex cable. Unglue the entire garland and set it aside. At this point, the new display assembly can be installed. Begin by attaching the camera and the sensor flex cable, starting with the sensor which is to the left of the camera. The sensor fits inside a rubber placeholder. Once the sensor is fitted, fold over the cable and refit the other two sensors above. Replace the speaker box, ensuring that it is properly aligned with the contact pads on the flex cable. Insert the front camera into its placeholder. Fit the securing bracket over top and replace the three Phillips screws. Reinstall the LCD shield, making sure that the home button connector is positioned properly over its pad. Replace the home button, making sure that the flex cable is properly aligned with the two fitting pins on the assembly. Reconnect the home button's connector. Replace the two rubber screw dampeners. Position the home button shield over the top and replace the two Phillips screws. Secure the bottom and the top LCD shield Phillips screws. Replace the six tiny Phillips screws, three on each side of the LCD shield. Align the display assembly with the main body of the phone and begin reconnecting it. There are four connectors in total. Start from the top. Each connector will make a distinct click when connected properly. Connectors are extremely fragile. Make sure to align them properly and do not use excessive force. Replace the connector shield and secure it with five Phillips screws. The medium-sized screw fits in the left top corner. The longest screw goes in the right top corner, and the three tiny Phillips screws go in the remaining spots. 
Make sure the display assembly is properly aligned with the top edge and begin closing it, making sure that each side is fitted properly. Replace the two pentalobe screws on each side of the docking connector and you're done.